In today's episode, I'm going to be jumping into how to apply to work on cruise ships. Just to give you a brief summary, I did work on cruise ships for about two years. I'm not a recruiter for cruise lines, but I do have some insight as to how the process works and applying to jobs in general. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. So applying on cruise ships, step one, you got to choose a cruise line. If you're not really sure which one, just apply to them all. The great thing about cruise lines is that there's a ton. We're going to take a look at these cruise lines career section websites. So step number one was to actually choose one or just go to all of them and go to their career section. Now I've already loaded these up on my computer, but you can easily find out the career section of pretty much any company if you just Google the company name and type in careers. So let's take a look at RCL. RCL, you see jobs at sea and jobs on land. Uh, it really depends on what you want to do, but we're going to click jobs at sea and immediately you can see all of their affiliated companies. You can see Royal Caribbean, Celebrity, Azamara, Pullman Tour, TUI, and Sky Sea Cruise Line. For each one of these, you can apply. So that's six companies right there that you can apply to. So let's start with Royal Caribbean. Now, right off the bat, we have a couple different promoted positions here like galley steward, laundryman, or pastry cook, for example. I think a couple of you guys were asking about that in the comment section. So let's see, I'm gonna click join our team. So it gives you a brief rundown of what to expect out of this position. It looks like you can print it, email to a friend or apply now. So if this is what you want to do, go ahead and click apply now. So if you've never done this before, it's going to take you to an application page, as you can see here. I'm just going to fill all of this out. All right. And there you go. I filled everything out. Um, you can pause it here and see how I filled everything out. You're going to sign up for something called C-Track. It basically signs you up for an account here. Uh, let's move forward. Now, the thing is, I already worked for Royal Caribbean before because I worked at Celebrity. So I think it's going to tell me that I already have an account. Yeah, it already exists. Let me go ahead and log in and show you what it looks like after you log in. OK, now we're in. We're taking a look at the job opportunities. And at this point, it kind of gives you an opportunity to take a look at what's available. I'm assuming the grayed out areas, there's not really much available. But uh, let's take a look at casino here. Casino, casino attendant. Cool. Let's go with that. And we can apply for that by clicking apply now. And once you've created your account, it's pretty much that simple. You're able to upload your CV and a recruiter should give you a call if you're something they're looking for. Okay, now let's do something a little bit different. Let's go to Carnival. Never worked for them, never made an account with them. Let's uh, let's set something up now. So I wanna work for Carnival. Their website is jobs.carnival.com. So if I take a look here, Carnival Cruise Line, just scrolling down, there are a couple job fairs that are available. I can even sign up for job alerts, but I want to see what's available here. So let's see. So we're going to try searching by category here and you can see how many jobs are available just by the number that's next to the department. Let's try sales jobs. There are two jobs available. We have crew sales specialist and guest service coach. Um, guest service coach does not sound interesting. So I'm going to click on cruise sales specialist. Okay, join us for open house where you can meet the hiring managers. Okay, so if you're in Florida, Thursday, July 19th, between four to seven, you wanna to go to 3400 Lakeside Drive, second floor in Miramar, Florida, you can actually meet the hiring managers. But let's see what happens if I click apply. Now I'm not actually interested in applying here, but you pretty much get the point. All I have to do is put my first and last name, email address, phone number, areas of interest, and uh, a resume or a CV. Then I would just submit. Now it does say over here at the bottom that this is not an application. Once you've submitted your information, you'll be routed to a separate page to complete your application. I'm sure at that point, you'll probably enter more of the information on your CV or resume into their database. So it's all legible. Anyway, so that's two companies. Let's go for one more just to really drill at home. We're going to look at Disney. Maybe I want to work for Disney. If you take a look over here right off the bat, we have shipboard opportunities and shoreside opportunities. I don't want to work shoreside. I want to travel. So we're going to click shipboard opportunities. All right. 11 results for Disney Cruise Line shipboard slash island jobs. We got IT technical analyst. I just got an email about that. So if you're watching and you emailed me about this, there you go. Uh, this was posted June 12th. So it's about a month and a half ago or so, almost two months ago. So you may want to hop on it, but it's still available. So maybe they haven't found the person they're looking for. Let's see. Marine and technical operations manager, human resources, learning and development manager, youth activities counselor, uh, junior sous chef, chef de partie. So there are a lot of different opportunities here. Let's say I want to be a youth activities counselor. Um, I probably wouldn't, but I'm just clicking it just so you guys can see. Now it gives you a brief rundown 
And there's, there's even a little video here. We're not gonna watch that video. It tells you the responsibilities, gives you some photos, uh, basic qualifications, preferred qualifications, additional information, pretty much everything that you would ever wanna know about the job. And if we click apply now, it takes you to a sign-in page. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to create an account and boom, we're in. So it says start your application. Youth Activities Counselor, estimated completion time is 15 to 25 minutes. You can get an idea of uh, what kind of questions they're gonna ask you. First of all, uh, they're gonna want your CV. Pretty much any job you apply to is gonna ask you for a resume slash CV, so it makes you have that readily available. Um, I'm not gonna walk through and spend 15 to 25 minutes uh, going through this application because you can do that yourself. But what I wanna talk about now is preparing your CV for submission. The thing about preparing your CV is you don't wanna just have a general CV for every position you apply to because maybe you're just desperate to get a job. The thing is, if you're submitting the same CV to every single position, what may happen is your CV may be catered heavily toward one position and not so much toward the other. So if you're applying for an IT job and you have IT experience and a lot of it, okay, highlight that in your CV. However, if you're trying to get a sales job and you have a lot of IT experience, then adjust your IT experience to cater more toward a sales job. So maybe you did some sales responsibilities, put those first, highlight those things. Maybe take away some of the responsibilities in your CV that wouldn't even really translate to the position that you're applying to. Maybe you want to be a guest room attendant and you know how to sell. Uh, that could work, but the most important thing you want to do here is make sure that all of the things that you list translate to the job for which you're applying. Okay, now once you've done all of these things, um, some of you may want to go with a recruiter. Um, there are approved recruiters out there and some are not. My biggest point of advice if you're gonna go with a recruiter is do not pay them. And these people get paid from the cruise line to find you jobs. Now, if you're that desperate and you really need a job on a cruise line, well, I mean, hey, that's up to you. I don't advise it. There have been some people who have gotten jobs through some type of agent or a recruiter and they've paid them, but I would not recommend it. As an entertainer, I do have an agent who's kind of like a recruiter, but not really. And he takes his money off the back end, so I don't even have to worry about that. His money does not come from my pocket. So he's paid, I'm paid, everybody's happy. Um, there are a lot of shady people out there. Please be aware of that. If you're not sure if the person that you're working with or potentially going to work with has a reputable background, you can check online. Most companies will also have a list of approved recruiters. Hey, listen, if you're trying to work on cruise ships, one thing that I've noticed is really tough to do is finding the right agencies and recruiters to get you on that ship. So let us help you make that first connection with the official Ship Life TV recruiters list. It's for countries all across the world. We've done all the work for you. All you gotta do is find your country, click the link and apply. I don't know how we can make it any easier for you. And if you act now, you might be able to get it for 50% off. That's the official Ship Life TV recruiters list. Only available at shiplifetv.com. My last tip for you is don't give up. Another person that I talked to, Daniel, in another video that I mentioned, he waited almost an entire year just to work on cruise ships. I've known some other people who waited six, eight months, so on and so forth. Other people who are still waiting to work on a cruise ship. Maybe something's happening with the cruise line where they're on some type of hiring freeze. You never really know. But the last tip I do have for you is not to give up because you never know what's going to happen. And he did have to wait a year, but he ended up getting the job. And those are pretty much the tips that I have for you. I hope this provides a little bit of value. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below. So I want to open this up to the Ship Life community. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, if you want to add something to the conversation, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. And with that said, if you are a musician looking to work on a cruise ship, go ahead and send me an email letting me know a little bit about your background. And if you got any value out of this episode, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more episodes just like this from a guy like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.